So Crocodile Hunter caught my attention during DEF CON and I've been messing with it ever since. I've got it working uh, in Dragon OS LTS actually, which is based on 1804. I was kind of hoping to have it running in the uh, Dragon OS Focal. Uh, I'm sh sure they'll get around to getting it working in uh, 20.04, uh, but I had a problem building SRS LTE. So you can see what it does here. Uh, I'm kind of interested in it uh, for a couple reasons, uh, like the survey part of it, uh, but you can see what else it does here. So I had a little bit of difficulty building it, uh, so I'm just going to capture how I got it uh, working here. And then maybe look at including it in the future, or maybe just even a little live disc that does just this uh, Crocodile Hunter. But I'm sure these directions are going to change. Um, seems to be a pretty popular program. So I've got the GitHub page pulled up here. Hopefully the resolution's not too small or too high, whatever. Let's see. I'm going to pull this down, and I'm just throwing it uh, in the live, because uh, I am running this live. Uh, go ahead and change to Crocodile Hunter SRC. Remove uh, SRS LTE, because the directions here uh, for loading the sub-modules, uh, they don't work for me. Get a key error. So I'm going to open up this SRC folder here. I'm going to open up SRS LTE. Grab this link. Now we've got it. At this point, Dragon OS LTS, the um, last release that I pushed out, which I think was uh, ended in a 4, it already has everything that you need to build SRS LTE. So I'm going to have this going in the background, adjust this J whatever to however many uh, cores you have, I'll let that build, and we're going to move on here. A couple other things so I don't forget. I actually messed this up in Dragon OS LTS uh, when I fixed the Edis uh, UHD version. So we need to fix the UDEV rules. And right here. copy those to UDEV or Etsy uh, UDEV rules and then we'll reload this all right that's out of the way go back to our original Crocodile Hunter page. We're going to come down. We're going to copy and paste all the packages it tells us we need. But to come up uh, ah, so slow. Come up here and we're going to Okay, you can see above the SRS LTE built. All right, we'll let that install. We're going to, right as soon as this finishes, we'll install the uh, Python packages.
about change to your crocodile folder. We'll do just like it says, you'll get an error about a missing MySQL config file. do the uh, linkage like it shows here and then this took me a while I don't understand I, I swear I didn't have to do it the first time but take a look in the in this folder here and look at for example the client.com file. It's got the socket location here and I, I don't remember having to change that but when I start the Crocodile uh, Hunter uh, later on it's looking for uh, or it comes back with an error it can't connect to the MySQL uh, in temp MySQL.soc so I'm gonna this is just temporary you could probably edit that file client and then as well as the server and change that to be instead of what it says you could change it to temp uh, mysql dot sock I guess you could but I'm just gonna where was it down here I'm just going to make this temporary. And then I'm going to link that to temp mysql dot no d. All right, so that'll take care of that. Okay, you're going to need wiggle and open cell ID if you want to run it like the full thing. Uh, let's see, I've also got a, G a USB GPS plugged in, so take a look in the dev folder, you'll see TTY USB. All right, so what you're going to do is edit your GPSD file. And we'll do dev TTY USB 0. Save that. restart GPSD okay so that's done this is done we also want to do we'll do uh, MySQL secure installation so there should be no password right now I don't think for root all right and we're gonna set the root password yes I'll do tor t o o t o o r t o o r yeah 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 okay so now let's change into our crocodile source here we also want to We'll copy the config example to config.ini. Open up the INI file. All right. 
Uh, and it took me a while to figure this out, but I had reached, apparently, reached my wiggle uh, pulls, I guess, that I could do. And it was just really throwing me off because I couldn't figure out why everything wasn't working. So, and obviously I can't show a lot anyways, but what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to throw in a something here so I can start this without wiggle. Let me think here. Alright. Now that number is not going to be, you know, that's just something I have here. So I'm going to leave everything else uh, as is. And let's see, I have a B205 mini dash I plugged in. So let's just make sure. Okay. Now the fact that this pulse audio, I don't, I shouldn't, I don't think that'll do anything. So, because that's on soapy. All right. So I'll do sudo. Take a look at the help. finish I don't remember if I went back and finished the Python packages Let's see SRC. Okay. So after you fix the MySQL com file, uh, as many times I did this, I can't believe I forgot that, but that was uh, up here after you linked this, you'd have to run it again to get everything else you need. Soapy power. Okay, so now let's take a look at Crocodile Hunter. Okay, so we are going to run it. Well, I actually do have GPS. We'll run it in debug and we're going to run it without wiggle. And I might have to cut some video out here depending on what it uh, comes back with. But this is how you would start it. Ideally with your open cell ID and your wiggle And matter of fact, I'm going to stop it for a second and take off GPS because you don't need to know my exact All right, you might get that back. Let's take a look at the comp file. Take this out of the API section. 
All right, let's see what we got now. All right, let's try this again. I have to cut some things out so it's not, uh, you know, I'm putting Latin long on here. So this is how you would start it. I'm going to pull this up just in front of it there. You're going to see you'll get a little notice there. And then uh, you'll start to find the various towers. And what's happening is um, behind the scenes there, it's adding the uh, various towers uh, that it finds. So, all right, we'll go to HTTP. And there you go. Now, I don't have my GPS location in here, so um, I guess you can see the Enode B information there. All right, there you go. That's how you get it running. Uh, if you would, uh, if you put your uh, open cell ID in and your wiggle information, your starting Latin long, and then use GPS, then of course you're going to start to see where everything is at on the map. Okay, there you go.